Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the polishes that are going to be coming back for Rewind Month for Polish Pickup. If you are unfamiliar with what Polish Pickup is, that is a website where indie polish makers come together to create a one-of-a-kind polish for that month's theme. So Polish Pickup Rewind happens every single July if you are new and unfamiliar with it. I have lots of goodies to share with you. Some of these polishes are going to be available on Polish Pickup. Some of these will be on the maker's website, and there'll be info down below on all of that. So if you're interested to see what polishes I have that are going to be coming back, just keep watching. So this polish is by Bluebird Lacquer, and it is called Rock of Sages. It was originally released in May 2022. This is described as being an emerald green shattered hollow with a glowy emerald green to purple multi-chrome shimmer. It is inspired by one of her favorite places in her home state of Mesa Verde. There is also a polish coming back for July on her website that is called The Walking Debt, which will be available July 14th through... It actually just says it'll be available July 14th, so it doesn't state how long she has that one. But this is a beautiful green polish. This is one I wanted to pull out for March, St. Patrick's Day, and I did not get this one pulled out, but it's beautiful. So this is it in two coats plus top coat. So sparkly, so beautiful. Such a pretty polish. So that is two coats of Bluebird Lacquer. Rock of Sages. The next polish I have is this one by Color Spectrum. This is called Love Stoned and it was originally released in December of 2022. So this polish will be $12.50. There is a cap of 115 bottles available for this polish and it is a cherry red polish with black micro flakes and holographic glitter. This was inspired by the maker's very own love story. This is gorgeous. I don't know if it's coming off accurate on camera, but this is stunning. On my swatch here, this is three coats plus top coat. It dries down beautifully. It has a nice shine on its own, but I did add top coat just to make it extra glossy. So that is three coats of Color Spectrum Love Stoned. The next polish is this one from Dainty Digits Lacquer. This is called Cute Little Son of a Witch, and this debuted in September 2022. I saw this one back in September and knew that I had to pick it up. I believe this sold out the first go-round last year. She upped the cap, and I was able to actually get a bottle of this one. It is available for the month of July. There is a cap on this polish of 300 so if this is something that you're interested in, you definitely want to try to get it as soon as you possibly can. So this is inspired by the glowing lights of Halloween. It is a shifty green base with fabulous sparkle that dance in the moonlight. It is such a pretty polish. You've got so much sparkle. You've got the different shifts in here as well, and you also have reflective glitter. On my swatch, I think this was three coats. It's a little bit squishy, so I went in with three. This also has top coat on it as well. It does dry down just a little bit textured, so you will want either a glitter smoother top coat or a couple layers of your favorite top coat to go with this one. So that is three coats of Dainy Digits. Cute little son of a witch. Polish, coming back to polish pickup, is this one from Rogue Lacquer. This is called 1985, and it originally released in December of 2022. This polish will be $13. There is no cap as of right now. This is a magenta pink base with subtle hollow shimmer mixed in with orange to pink color shifting shimmer, hollow flake, and a subtle purple hue. This one is gorgeous, and I love her polishes like this. They are one of my all-time favorites. If you missed out on this the first time, definitely pick it up. This is absolutely beautiful. You can see the different color shifts here. It's so beautiful. The formula on this is fantastic. So this is it in two coats plus top coat. 
formula was wonderful on this application is smooth and easy so again if you missed out on this one the first time don't hesitate to pick it up for rewind so that is two coats of rogue lacquer 1985 and then she is bringing a polish back to her website for july and that is this polish here called a little dark a little gloomy and this released in january 2023 for polish pickup this polish is described as being a marine base with different shades of blue to green glass flakes and black metallic flakes. The inspiration for this polish was Hades from the Disney's movie, the Disney movie Hercules. It'll be $13 and there is no cap on this polish. It will be available July 1st to the 31st. It'll be available on her website all month long. This is three coats. It is a flaky bomb polish. Applies really nicely. It does take a little bit of manipulating just because it is so packed full of those flakes, but this is beautiful. So this is three coats of Rogue Lacquer, a little dark, a little gloomy. The next polish is Glisten and Glow. This is one I recently picked up. I think it was available in February. This one is called Goddess of Love. This was first released in January polish pickup. It's described as being a light pinky purple base. It has red and purple flakes and glitters in here. This is a fun one. I got it to kind of wear for like Valentine's Day or the month of February. I wore it. While I didn't care for it at first, it definitely grew on me as the days went on. It is such a pretty polish. So if you missed out on it the first time or weren't sure about it, now would be the time to pick this one up. This it polish is this one by Graceful Nail Polish. This one is called Rainforest Raindrop. It is inspired by photos of the rainforest. This is described as being a deep green jelly base with crystal color shifting flakes and chameleon chrome flakes. They also have a second polish coming to their website as well, which I do not have that one. So that is what this one looks like. It is such a beautiful deep polish. It's stunning. This is what it looks like in three coats. It's beautiful. It is such a beautiful shade of green. I had to get this one when it came out. So if you're interested in it, definitely pick this one up. So that is three coats of graceful nail lacquer rainforest raindrops. The next polish is one that is coming back to the maker's website. This is from Lemming Lacquer, and this one is called Cyberpunk. This polish originally released, um, I believe, in July of last year for Rewind, and she is bringing it back this time again. It has this blurpley blue to purple base. You've got some color shifting shimmer in there. You could see it here. You could definitely see the base is a little bit blue, a little bit purple. It does need build up. It's a little bit on the sheer side. This is one that I just thought was beautiful last summer when it came out. So I'm excited that she's bringing this to her website. The polish that she has for polish pickup for the month of July, I do not have in my collection. But this one will be available on her website I am not sure how long it's available for, so I'll, again, try to have all that info below. So this is that polish from Lemming Lacquer called Cyberpunk. This is the one that is available on her website. This is not the PPU polish. So that is three coats. It has all of that gorgeous sparkle in there. This is gorgeous. The next one is by Cuticula. This is different than what is being offered on polish pickup for the month. The maker of Cuticula is bringing back this polish, but she is creating a 2.0 version. From what I understood, the formula is a little bit different. I think some of her pigments were a little bit different from where she purchased them from. They're not quite the same as this one. So this one is called Mealgical, and it was released in October of last year. The new version, the 2.0 version, from what I understand, is a little bit darker than this particular polish. This one was inspired by Black Cats on Halloween. It says the, ma 
Meowgical 2.0 is a deeper indigo base with strong large particle orange to gold to green shifting shimmer and silver holographic flakes. It says the scattered hollow in this polish change the change of the scattered hollow gives the base color a deeper shade, gives the larger particle shimmer a more striking effect. So this it's a little deeper than what this one is. This is what my version looks like. The one on Polish Pickup is a darker purple. They're very similar. There is just some subtle differences in that. So that is two coats of Cuticula's Mealgical. The next polish that is coming back for Polish Pickup is this one by Wildflower Lacquer. I picked this one up when it first released in November of last year, and this is called Perhaps a Christmas Gourd. Taylor, the maker, had stated this was one of her best-selling polishes for Polish Pickup. She had such success with it, it was astounding. So this polish is a beautiful, shifty, shimmer polish. I'm trying to pull up my description here, and it does not want to work. I'm having trouble with my iPad wanting to work today, so hold on just a minute. There we go. This will be $13 on the Polish Pickup site. And there is no cap as of right now. It'll be a 15 milliliter bottle. So this is described as being a deep red cherry base with pink to orange shifting shimmer. And it says, please wear a good base coat as this will stain and it does stain your nails. I ended up wearing it around Christmas time last year and I had to buff my nails because they were stained kind of like an orangey red so definitely wear a good base coat even double up triple up whatever you have to do if you're prone to staining definitely try to double up on base coat this is a gorgeous polish by the way it's such a pretty polish i love the shiftiness of this i didn't care for it at first when i wore it but it grew on me over time i wore it with a couple other polishes for a christmas manicure last year and it was beautiful so this is perhaps a Christmas gourd in two or three coats. I'm not sure which. It might only be two. It's beautiful. I love the sparkle of this one. Wildflower is bringing a polish to her website. She's bringing back Straight Out of St. Olaf, which is inspired by Rose Nyland from the Golden Girls. And that will be available for an uncapped pre-order starting July the 7th at noon central time. And that will go through... July 11th at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. So if you're interested in the polish on her website, definitely make sure to pick that one up. The last polish that I have that is coming back to the maker's site for Rewind is this one by Sassy Sauce. This is called Wet Spot. This is one that I picked up in August PPU last year. The polish that she's bringing back to Polish Pickup is called Glamp Fire, and I do not have that polish. But the Wet Spot polish, $13 on her website, so again, that will be down below. This is a super shifty turquoise jelly base with gold reflective glitter. At some angles, you will see a purple to pink shift, and at other angles, a gold to copper to green shift. I picked this one up. I don't know if it's coming off on camera, the beautiful reflective glitter this has. This is stunning. Such a pretty polish. I have not wore this one yet. I really should. So this is what it looks like. This is three coats. I did not get it top coated, but you could tell it definitely dries down textured. So you will want a glitter smoother top coat and a good layer of a fast dry top coat as well to smooth that out and make it glossy. But this is such a pretty polish. My camera's not going to do this justice. So that is three coats of Sassy Sauce Wet Spot. So that's it, guys. That is it for what's coming back to Polish Pickup for the month of July. And that is everything that I have in my current collection. Hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to comment down below. And we'll see you in the next one.